This is TNL Food Channel, and yesterday I was watching some cooking videos on um, Facebook, and I came across one on how to make homemade hot chocolate um, in your crock pot or slow cooker. And with the weather changing, I figured it seemed like a perfect time to make a hot cocoa video. I'm gonna start with Nestle Toll House some semi-sweet uh, chocolate chips. I have a cup and a half of it here. I'm gonna pour it into my slow cooking pan. We are using the Instapot. Um, you've seen the Instapot featured in many of our videos, but we're actually gonna use it on the slow cooker mode today. This is a fourth cup uh, baking cocoa powder. You just mix all the ingredients in the pot all at once to start out with. You need six cups of milk. Um, I bought whole milk to help the hot chocolate have a fuller, richer flavor. I don't generally buy whole milk. In fact, we don't buy a lot of milk. We're not big milk drinkers, but here we go. There's four. And six cups of milk. So, so far we have a cup and a half of chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate chips a fourth cup of uh, cocoa powder, and six cups of milk. Now we're gonna add a cup of heavy whipping cream. Vanilla, I have a half teaspoon. Whoa, one. We might have a little extra vanilla flavor. Two. It's a custom made recipe. And the last ingredient is a half a cup of regular table sugar. I'm just using the same fourth cup I used for the cocoa powder, so I'll put two of those in there. And that's all you need for this hot cocoa recipe to get it cooking. Let me grab a wooden spoon here. We're gonna go ahead and give this a stir. Mix some of that powder and milk. All right, it looks like we maybe have our mixture mixed up just enough. As you can see, the milk and cream are very cold. There's frost building on the pot here. So we're gonna go ahead and slip this into our instant pot slow cooker cooker just like that and we're gonna put our lid on maybe and lock it down now when you're using slow cooker you want to make sure your knob is on venting so mine says venting right now now that we have the um, Instapot all locked up and stuff. We're gonna go to slow cook. Hit the button on ours that says slow cook. You wanna go to adjust, hit it twice to get it to um, less, which is low. Then we want to adjust the time down to two hours. So I'm gonna hit this minus button here. It's gonna start up to here in hours. just a second. There we go. We do wanna come back and stir it um, every once in a while. So I'm gonna set my timer for 25 minutes. And we will come back and look at it then and I'll let you see me stir it and see what I it looks like. I went a little bit beyond the 25 minutes. It's been about 35 minutes now. I figured everything was really cold when I first put it in there. So I gave it just a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna reach in and give it a stir. It's definitely picking up that chocolate look. You can see the chocolate chips have definitely started to melt. It's looking like a frothy chocolate milk. All right, so we gave it a short stir. I'm gonna pop the lid back on. And let it cook some more. All right, 
this should be done. We're gonna go ahead and hit keep warm cancel to turn this off. Open this up. Ooh, that is some dark hot chocolate. Ooh, yes it is. We're gonna give it a stir. Um, remember earlier I did say that we had to stir it every so often. You saw me stirring it the first time and then I did stir it one other time when I had about 45 minutes left. And now it's finished. We're giving it a stir. One more quick step. I have some uh, Jet Puffed Mini Marshmallows here by Kraft. We're just gonna pour some of those across the top just like that. I'm gonna put the lid back on and let it sit for 10 minutes. I'm gonna hit keep warm to keep it warm. And there we go. All right. You can see on my display, it's been 10 minutes since I put the marshmallows in. We're gonna lift the lid off. And the marshmallows have a nice melted look to them. It smells delicious. We're gonna go ahead, use our ladle here, get in here. Look at that. Marshmallowy, chocolatey goodness. There we go. We're gonna give it a try. Mmm. Very marshmallowy, rich, tasty chocolate, nice and hot. Enjoy.